uh, want to give a, a quick update on some of the new things that we're launching in this latest update of Google TV. Uh, for this release, we are focusing really on three things. Uh, first is how do we simplify the overall user experience? Uh, second is how do we make it much easier for a user to find what to watch, especially when they have so many choices available to them? You know, on Google TV alone, there's over 80,000 titles and movies you can watch. So how do we bring you know, really interesting content to the user? And the third is, how do we make the web and all that great web content you can't get on TV today feel much more like television? And we'll talk about a couple things that we're doing to, to make that an easier process. So just really quickly on the overall user experience, uh, we simplified the UI a lot to be much easier for users to understand and navigate. Uh, so what you're seeing here is a, a really easy way to access your favorite apps. Um, this is a model that is fairly familiar to you if you use a smartphone or a tablet today. Uh, and if you want to access all your content, then there's an easy way to access all your content as well. Again, we want the UI to get out of the way of users getting really quick access to their favorite content. And that's the UI. Really trying to simplify and get it out of the way. Uh, what we're really excited about is making sure that now that we have all this great content on something like Google TV, that we can really help users find what's the most powerful thing for them to watch at any point in time. And what we had with V1 was search, and we've improved search uh, to make this even easier, where if I want to find a very specific movie, we're going to help you find it. So in this one, I'm looking for a movie called Food, Inc. Um, it'll tell me in a matter of seconds where I can watch it. If it's on Netflix, if it's on Amazon, if it's on YouTube, or even if it's on live television. It's going to be a really simple experience of, if I know what I want to watch, let's get it to you as quickly as possible. So that's really about search. But there's another experience there which is not all the time do I know what I want to search for. Sometimes I just want to be entertained. And what we wanted to do is bring all that great content that's already available out there and bring it to the user in a way that's organized for them. So it's meant to be a single place where you can actually access what's on your uh, linear television today, whether you're Comcast, DirecTV, or Dish, uh, what's available for you on all these on-demand sources, and how do you actually get access to them. So here, uh, what you're seeing is I'm actually seeing uh, what's on my, my uh, live TV right now, but instead of being organized by something like channels, which is a little bit hard to for users to understand, we've done something fairly simple and organized it by genres. Like, so I, I can now see all the different movies that are available, or the comedy shows or dramas, what have you. Uh, what's more interesting, I think, uh, beyond that is to really actually think of all the different content and build an optimized engine for the user on how they can find it. So if a user chooses to opt in, we can actually personalize the experience completely to them. So based off what you watched before, based off what you rated, based on what you tell us, we'll actually optimize the experience and show you only content that's relevant to you. So for me, this is actually a list of content that's personalized for me. For you, it would be actually a different set of content. Um, and again, the idea here is that we can let the user focus on content and not where it's coming from. So once I decide to watch a movie, something like uh, Scott uh, Pilgrim vs. The World, I can then decide where do I want to watch it. If I want to watch it on demand on HBO Go, you can do that. If I want to actually wait and watch it later on Friday, I can also do that as well. We want to focus on the content, make it personalized for the user, make it relevant for the user. Because we do believe the biggest challenge going forward for television is you have tons of content from your linear TV today, more content coming from on demand, and even more content coming from all the web sources and web channels, the millions of channels that are out there today on the web. So we really need to make it easy to find what's interesting to watch. So that's kind of the second uh, thing we want to talk about today is this new experience and we're looking forward to getting a lot of user feedback on how users are actually finding and discovering information. The third area is really how do we make the web experience feel more like television. And part of that is actually making it so that uh, we can actually make web uh, more integrated within the overall TV experience. So if I'm doing a search, I should just as easily be able to find a movie uh, and a web video as I am to find a channel of content. So just like I typed in Food, Food Inc., this time I'm going to type in Carmen, which is a YouTube star. And pretty quickly, I can uh, find a video that's actually interesting to me, and right away it's going to show up on my television. Right? We want it to feel like as easy as you flip a channel on your TV, it should be able to, you should be able to actually flip to a YouTube video. And what we've done here is not just showing you that single video, and obviously showing it in, in high quality, but we've gone ahead and created a channel basically on demand. So what you're seeing here is a whole list of the content related to the topic I just gave. So in this case, I typed in Carmen, and now I see a whole bunch of Carmen videos. Right? So now you can actually lean back and just watch YouTube, just like you'd watch, you watch TV. So I'm really making the web video experience, in particular YouTube, much more like television. Lastly, uh, we know that YouTube is not the only place where you can actually watch great 
uh, web video, right? There are many other places you can watch it. And so what we want to do is actually also enable those, those content providers, those developers, to actually bring their content directly to the television. So we're excited to announce the Android market as part of this, actually, this update. Uh, it's still early days for the market. This includes applications that will only work on your television, right? We don't want to include applications that have GPS or require touchscreen. So it doesn't include all the apps that are available in the Android market, only those that work specifically on your, on your TV. But we're really excited about the potential because now an Android developer, all those thousands of Android developers, can now take their applications to a completely new frontier of devices, which is the television. So we're excited about unlocking this, and we're uh, initially the, the market will be fairly small, but we expect it to grow pretty significantly over time as more and more developers actually start opting in their apps to the television. So that's the update we have with Google TV.